Hi everyone, I'm here with a vlog, like an informal thrift haul, and I also wanted to talk about um, how I care for my clothes. I get a lot of questions about Doan. I have a, where is it? Right there, I have a dry clean pile. And I got a lot of questions about dry cleaning and hand washing, so I want to talk to you about what I do. Um, I have two young kids, so that's why everyone is like, how do you make that work if you dry clean all the time? And like, they're both under three, so they're messy little girls, but I'll talk about that in a bit. But yeah, I wanted to show you, um, Wes and I went on vacation, and one of our favorite things is going thrift shopping. And I actually picked up another, another couple things. Um, that are new in that I just wanted to share with you, which I think are super fun, including this necklace. So Wes got me this. Wes got me this necklace, which is from a Canadian company, I believe, called Majuri. I'll show you the packaging, but it's a locket, and inside um, it says six years. So it was our six year anniversary, and we decided to, well, we forgot about it completely. <laughs> we always forget our anniversary because it's in the summer, we're always super busy. Um, and so we decided late to um, get each other gifts even though he didn't ask for anything, so I need to get on him, but I'm not sure if you can see. But yeah, there's an inscription that says six years on it, so. So I remember when I got this, which I think is fun. I love the vintage influence on it. It's a brand new necklace, but I love anything vintage influence, which is like Doan and Cezanne, which are my favorite brands. So otherwise, I'm gonna show you, um, sit down and show you some uh, new things that I have in. I wanted to show you first the box that I got my necklace in. I love the, the length of this too. Um, it says ooh la la on the inside. So it's from Majuri. And the box is this. And this is wrapped with a beautiful, like really beautiful black satin ribbon. And then you open it this way. I was trying so hard to open it this way. <laughs> I almost ruined the box, but I'm um, really beautiful. This is the velvet on the inside. They are a Canadian company, but they, um, uh, talk about how they're trying to make jewelry affordable and so they have these really nice simple pieces that don't break the bank but are like obviously better quality than you can find in a lot of the, the shopping malls um, the fast fashion stores and I'm kind of in that space right now where I'm like I don't want to spend money um, buying a necklace at H&M that's just gonna get like just gonna break or tarnish real really quickly but I'm just like I'm not where I want to spend $200 on a piece so um, or $300. This is just, this is like a one, 130 I believe so. Really nice and affordable. So if you're looking for like a middle of the road, good quality, special piece for someone, I would recommend that that company. I'll link them below. Um, otherwise, I got from the Sephora sale, the Tatcha the Water Cream. And this is probably one of my favorite moisturizers. Um, it says it's refreshing and anti-aging, pore perfecting Japanese wild rose from normal to oily skin. Um, what what uh, Sephora does is like whenever you make a purchase, they um, give you free samples of stuff. So I got a free sample of this a long time ago, and I was like, oh, I love it. And then I go and I'm like, oh, this is really expensive, like the full version. So like that's how they get you. So I went into the Sephora sale. I'm a Rouge member, which means I spend too much money. <laughs> it's part of their loyalty program. So I'm at this level where um, I got 20% off of any purchase. So I took um, advantage of that for this, and then. My Bumble and Bumble BB All Style Blow Dry, and I've talked about this before. I've had it in the small version before. The salon that I go to uses Bumble and Bumble, and I have naturally curly hair, and it keeps my hair um, smooth and um, keeps the frizzes away. So that's that. So another thing I got was um, this really lovely embroidery kit, and this is from Etsy. I can link this too. So at night. Um, because it's summer, uh, Wes and I always like to like indulge in like chips and drinks and I'm just gaining too much weight for that, from that. So I, I'm trying to find something that I can do with my hands that keeps me relaxed um, and I thought I would do this. I have a design background in fashion. I did two years of fashion design and then I have a bachelor of, um, of design with fashion communication. So I know how to hand sew so I'm not intimidated by this. Hopefully I'm not being crazy and too over ambitious, but um, I think it'll be lots of fun and eventually I would really love to embroider a quilt. I have uh, a million quilts. I should show you my collection one day. My sister-in-law and my mother-in-law are amazing at quilting and so I have a collection from them. My daughters have a collection from them and it's just like a really fun hobby to get into. So that's something I am looking forward to doing. But I'm gonna show you what we got at the thrift store. We love going to small towns because you never know what you're gonna find. And I just love to, I love to shop, obviously. 
which is why I have this channel. So one of the things we got, and you'll see the mirror here, is this beveled mirror. Wes grew up with a really cool, um, overly beveled mirror. Like you can see how it's like uh, distorted and he loves it. And I thought this really beautiful brass, um, it is metal. I'm not sure if it's real brass or what metal it actually is, but this suits our house. I love gold, I love brass colored things and um, we're really excited to add this to our collection. It was only five bucks, so really cute. I got that at Goodwill. And then I got this vase at Goodwill too. So this is this really beautiful um, blue glass and apparently I saw on the bottom it's made in Italy so it's really gorgeous. I love the light blue. I love this like bubble design on it and it was only $1.50. So I just put flowers in there. I'm so happy with that one. And then I'm staying on the pastel train and this lamp Ah, I love this so much. This is very, very vintage. Even though the cord looks pretty new, um, and that's something I can easily change, but look at how awesome this is. I follow this one account on Instagram called um, Make Moves Mint Vintage, and they're based out of Toronto. And they do lots of stuff like this, where they have this like really beautiful retro design and like really round and feminine and interesting. Um, so I'll link their account below, but this reminds me of something that they would sell, they sell vintage obviously too, and they also do some designs. So, and like the best chandeliers ever. So if you're looking for like the most unique chandelier or some custom made furniture, go there right now, because it's awesome. This was only $4. And then I got some jewelry. Yeah, okay. So I got this other, I got this other locket that needs a bit of a shine, but it was only $3 and it's on, so it's a little heart, um, pendant with a pearl on the inside and it's almost like a little you can see how far it sticks out and almost looks like a flower and I thought that was so pretty it was only three dollars and then um, I got this was just so cool so this is like a shorter necklace so it would go right yeah I would all know say right there so it's almost like a choker but it has this really beautiful um, flower um and it's this really beautiful rose and I thought it was just so pretty and this was four dollars so um really excited to wear this stuff again I love vintage jewelry because I think it's better quality than um, what you find in fast fashion stores and then um Majori is I think my favorite I'm gonna ask for it for occasions kind of thing and start my collection from there so those are like really fun things I wanted to share with you and then yeah let me talk about oh let me show you what I got at um Doen and Cezanne. So I'm going to show you what I got on the computer and then I'm going to do an official video like a new in Doen and new in Cezanne and let me know if you want separate videos on that because I know some people are like diehard Doen fans and I know some people are Cezanne addicts so um, I can definitely separate it for you. Actually combined it might be a bit of the long videos but let me show you what I got. You can hear the thunder. It is going bananas out my window right now. Look at that. That's the rain. All of a sudden I got a uh, uh, I got a warning that it's going to rain and then it just starts pouring right on cue. So my husband is currently outside <laughs> trying to barbecue. So hopefully he's okay. But let's get down to um, what I got. So this is amazing flash sale. So what happened was they have all this stuff on um, a flash sale and this is the last day of it. It's all sold out anyway. So, um, but it's like 70, like 50 to 70% off all of this, their clothing. And their clothing is expensive, so this is like the best deal ever. What happened was, um, Cutie Pie Poppy, my daughter, she woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning and I was just browsing on the site and they had it all up and they hadn't told anyone. So I got my pick of the litter. It was like super lucky. I'm like, thanks, Poppy. Somehow she, you knew about this sale. But I got the bee sweater, which I've always admired. I love the color of it. You can see that it's like, it's called Pink Cloud. And normally it's $450 Canadian and I got it for $162. So I thought that was a crazy deal. Um, it's still on its way. But I think it's beautiful. It is made up of 96% cotton and 44% polyester. So I'm excited to receive that. Next I got the Luca top. And this was this came highly recommended by someone I know. Um, she absolutely loves it. And she actually has the B top too. Um, so I thought this was a really good buy. And this was this is normally $219 and I got it for $71. So the prices are a little weird here because it's Canadian and it's Canadian conversion. But I think it was like up for like $55 or something like that. So American. So with the 
with the uh, conversion, that's what it comes to. And then, oh, this is the same fabric as my carnation right there. So you can see my carnation dress and I love it. It's this beautiful cotton. I think there's viscose in it, but I love it so much. It's so airy and so light. So I'm really happy to add that to my collection. What's really lovely about the Doen site is they have a little video on how everything moves and works. I love this model so much. Her name is Alex Noray and she has that on Instagram and she just seems like the sweetest, sweetest human ever. So I'm like, cutie pie, she makes everything look good. So um, they actually have a new version of this top in the black lilium one you can see, yeah, this is full price. But it's, um, so the way they showed it with mine is, is uh, it was tucked in and so this is what it looks like untucked. So it's a little bit longer and it has a tie right here at the waist. That one, I'm, I think I'm the most excited about that top to receive that. And then this, I have been wanting these shoes. Ooh, I have been wanting these shoes for so long. They, um, yeah, originally $258, so I'm like, I can't afford that for like flats. Um, and then they came down to 130 and so I was like, yep, yes please. And so I got them in this golden velvet color. And this I paid full price for, this is all sold out. This is the Billy Top in the Blue Autumn Plaid. The Rainbow Plaid was actually on the sale. Um, and I was talking before, I'm not sure if I was talking on this vlog or on a blog about how I wanted to get a new plaid shirt. Yeah, on my blog where I was talking, on my vlog when I was talking about cleaning out my closet, I was like, I want a new, nice new plaid shirt that is like more feminine. Um, I don't know, I feel like it's a Canadian staple to have a plaid shirt, so I wanted something that is a little bit more wearable for me. So. I got this, and again, it's in the mail, so we'll see how it all works out. I think I got an extra small, um, so I'm excited to get that. I love the ties on the rest. And then, okay, this is what I got at Cezanne. So these Leah boots, apparently anyone who has them has two because they're so great, and they're only like a two-inch heel, so they're super comfortable. I got these in the studded Sienna um, because I think that they will go with everything else I got. I should show you my blog post where I'm doing a fall wish list and I'm kind of keeping a visual wish list. Okay, so this is my blog post with my visual wish list. So it has everything that I've bought so far for this season and like basically anything recent and anything that I want. Like I want this cardigan from Doan, but it's not up yet. Um, but these are the couple of things that I've gotten from Cezanne. So I just got these boots, this sweater, this top. And then I got this sweater too. So these are ones that I have my eye on along with this bag. This is really expensive though, so I have to think about it. Um, anyway, so doing this visual wish list has made me um, look at what would work well. And originally with the Leah boot, I wanted um, it in black. But I feel like the Sienna, hey, I feel like the Sienna goes really well with everything I got. And I'm so, I'm really excited to get that. These are the other colors, there's leopard. Gold is what everybody has, but it's a little flashy for me. I'll think about it. The, this one is the smooch, the camel is, I think the most practical. And this is the new one, the pink gold. It has pink gold on the heel. So pretty. And then yeah, the studded sienna. There's only one picture of it for some reason. Anyway, I think it'll go really well with everything I got. So this is the Winnie sweater. This is all sold out by now. This is the Roxanne. It's so beautiful. Look at this detail. I'll make this sleeve. I absolutely love this. Wes doesn't like this shirt, but oh well, I like it. So I think it's gonna be perfect. And then this is the berry jumper. This is like the famous um, jumper. If you look up anything about Cezanne's uh, sweaters, this berry jumper had like a 30,000 or 50,000, you'll see different numbers, <laughs> wish list. So what happens is when, when it's sold out, you create an alert and right here. And um, apparently it has that 50,000 for some, for some reason. So anyway, this comes in a million colors. So obviously they knew it would do well. And I got the mocha color, which I think is beautiful. And you can wear it two ways. So this is it in the sky blue with the buttons on the back and then the straight front. So I'm excited for that. I think that's gonna be a good basic. I barely got knits last last winter because um, I was just burned. Like I got some stuff from a company that's kind of well known for their knits and everything peeled really quickly. So I was just like, I'm not gonna pay over $200 for something that like just falls apart or just looks disgusting after a couple of wears. 
So um, I took a break, but then I found Cezanne, and Cezanne stuff is still expensive. It's 120, that's 120 USD. So it's still under $200 Canadian, but um, I know someone who has eight of those sweaters and she loves them. And so I'm really excited to um, just build a collection of nice knits. I mean, Canada, we have snow for like five months of the year. So wearing like a nice jumper, nice jumper sweater knit pull, whatever you call it, is really important having a good quality one. So I'm really excited to um, get that. And I think that's it for what I got. So I'm gonna talk about Right now, um, my clothing, my Doen clothing and my Cezanne stuff and how I wash it. So um, I think the majority, if not all, of Doen stuff is marked as dry clean only. And the only thing that isn't dry clean only is this dress that I got for my daughter. And this is the rainbow plaid. And it was actually also available in like um, adult clothing, like shirts and, and dresses. And I'm not sure if that, that's a dry clean only or hand wash only, but this is hand wash only. And I got this for Lux. This is cotton, 58% cotton, 42% viscose, and it's a dry clean or hand wash cold and hang to dry, and that's exactly what I do. Actually, I, I flatten it out. I don't hang anything because um, until it's like dry to a certain point because it will stretch, and so I'm like really afraid of that. So what I do is I hand wash um, this in the sink. So I fill up the sink and I put a little bit of Tide in it, and then I just, and it's always cold water, and I always just let it soak. In there for just like a little bit and then what I do is I, I will show you on this because it's nice and small so this is wet and then I kind of fold it up nicely and scrunch it so as I scrunch I release all of the water out of it and I get it kind of as dry as possible but I never stretch it I always just kind of squeeze in a ball to rinse out all the water all the dirt like because this is she loves this this um this dress so much that she wears it all the time and she gets it so dirty, but it always comes out perfect. So I love this and I want to get her something else from their new collection um, because this like is just so well loved. And um, so yeah, that's what I do is like do that and then I unfold it and I rinse it again, being very careful not to let it stretch or hang. I just let it rest in the sink and then I just, yeah, fold it up in the sink and then squeeze out the excess water. Um, for the rest of the Dawn stuff, I dry clean it, but I do the same thing for the C for Cezanne stuff. So this Cezanne B top, B E A, um, I do that, and then I flatten this one out because this actually has scallops right here, and if you hang it, they'll just hang down. And so what I do is I flatten it and lay it to dry on the ground on a clean white towel in my office. I have a nice space for that here. Um, so what happened was, is I did, I usually hand wash Doan stuff if something happens to it like immediately. Um, so like if my kids spill milk on it and it's just like something I just can't let sit to go get dry cleaned, I will definitely hand wash or spot clean. And one thing that I have around the house is just my Tide to go pen. So I have this in the car, in my purse, in the kitchen, <laughs> in my office, just in like my pencil cup. And this just helps spot clean anything that spills on it. So. Um, I use this, I hand wash. What I did with this Rose Bay top once was I put this in the delicate cycle of my, um, of my washing machine. It's 100% cotton, so I was like, I don't really see the reason why I need to dry clean this because it's not a fabric that would shrink. So a lot of this stuff is, um, has a little bit of viscose in it and sometimes with viscose it will shrink um, if you're not careful with it. Um, that hasn't been my experience with those things, so I honestly think most of them is are fine to just hand wash plain, but um, I don't want to be responsible <laughs> for you ruining your clothes, but that has been my experience with the Thistle Top, the Rose Bay, and I haven't hand washed the Albertine because it's so delicate, and then I haven't hand washed my Christy Dawn, I have to go take that dry clean. But what I was going to say about the Rose Bay is I put it in the Gentle Cycle, and if you can see this little embroidery. So what happened was that this little embroidered part started getting little pills on it because of that. This is very delicate and this fabric is used in a lot of their stuff. You can see it right there. So I would maybe just hand wash this or dry clean this because it is just so like this is delicate and when I say things are delicate, when I say things are delicate I mean like they're well made but because of that kind of surface um, problem I would get it dry clean. Like I wear these around my kids all the time. And another thing is wearing the stuff around your kids. 
I just wash their hands all the time. Like if they come at me after they're eating, <laughs> I just have a wipe with me or a cloth and I'm like, wash your hands. So they know that they need to wash their hands because regardless of whether it is a $200 shirt from Doen or my husband's free shirts that he gets from web development conferences, like no one wants to get themselves dirty. So we just try to focus on teaching them to um, wash their hands because they're kids, they're dirty, they don't have no idea. And that's just another big thing I try to, um, we try to instill in them. So I wouldn't um, put it in the delicate cycle of your washing machine. I have a new washing machine and the delicate cycle is like normal. So I wouldn't do that. Like I would hand wash it, but honestly, when I have stains or I've worn all of these in the summer um, and when they stink, like the dry cleaners do a really good job of getting any sort of smell out and any sort of stain out. I'm, this is another dough on top. And this has gotten like yellow on the inside from just sweat. Um, it's hot up here in Canada. It's like up to 35 degrees Celsius. Um, that's over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I had to like look that up at some point. So um, the dry cleaners just do a really good job of cleaning it. Um, so I'd highly recommend it. I'm not gonna dry clean it as often in the winter because um, I don't sweat as much. So it's not gonna be a problem in the summer. It's a, it gets a, a little expensive to do that, but I absolutely love my items. So these, this is gonna go into my um, dry clean pile. This is my Christy Dawn Lincoln dress. This is my, yeah, Dawn thistle top, uh, rose top in the Japur mustard floral. And these two are part viscose. So they, yeah, they could shrink in the water. I, that hasn't been my experience, so it's probably okay to hand wash them. And again, I think dry cleaners do a better job. Anyway, and this is my Dawn Albertine top that has a lot of really delicate um, lace. So I don't even touch this one. I just fold it up nicely and I put it in my tote bag and I take it to, to my dry cleaners, which is also the same place where I get my stuff altered. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I get, again, someone just asked me on Instagram how I take care of it um, and that's how I do it. If you have any more questions or if I left anything out or something doesn't make quite enough sense to you, just let me know and I will try to explain that a little bit better. That's all I had planned to say in this vlog, so we'll see if I end it there. Otherwise, um, I'm just gonna do some work today. Um, try to do some work, and I'll let you come along with that. You can watch me type on a laptop. <laughs> and that's the end of my night. I didn't do much later. We just went for a ride and got a coffee. Um, it's Labor Day, so nothing's open. Um, so it was just a nice day at home. I hope my um, my vlog, like uh, the washing instructions were helpful and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.